This is on my site. It's an animated tutorial. Um, it's free. You can check it out. But the first concept that I want to show you is called, I call it the infinite bass. And the reason I call it infinite bass instead of guitar is that a bass guitar is all tuned to the fifth fret. So if you tune all your strings to the same fifth fret, uh, the pattern is very predictable. So take a look at this here. You can see this pattern projected onto the fretboard. And, um, you know, there's some significance to extending it beyond the fretboard. It makes it uh, more, more obvious that this is a predictable pattern and therefore you can benefit from kind of learning the landmarks in it. Like I would call this little square a landmark and the notes that compose this square are actually the same notes that compose this square and so on. And all the little squares are related. They're octaves of each other. Because the guitar has a funny tuning between the G and the B strings, there's a, a little phenomenon I call the shift. Let me go back and forth a couple times so you can see what's happening. This very predictable pattern breaks a little bit. Everything beyond this, if these were straights, it's like, or streets, it's like the San Andreas Fault cracked the entire city and everything beyond this point becomes uh, just shifted over one fret. So if you can learn how to negotiate that, uh, with the same logic that the rest of the map has, then you can overcome it very easily. So there's the shift. Uh, you can pause the video and watch these. Uh, notice the map just moved. Um, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that changing keys, if, if a song is in, in a different key than another song, uh, it's the same pattern. It's just been moved. And notice that the, the shift is still there but all these shapes, it's just been moved. Um, imagine that a projector is projecting the pattern and then somebody just moved the projector. So here's a different key, E major, A major. Notice if you click back and forth, it's like this little box is crossing over and therefore you'll have these two notes and those two notes and no longer have this note. So that's what changing keys is essentially happening there. <laughs>